When it comes to battery-powered cars, this Mercedes-Benz is the average. The EQB 354MATIC lists for 75700 The average battery electric vehicle fetches $73,000 in Canada. Throw in the premium package on this tester, the intelligent drive package, and third row seating, and you get to $85,500, or a $1,600 a month lease payment for 39 months. That is some serious coin for a compact crossover, even a Mercedes. Yes, it's a nicely tricked out Merc with fancy lighting, dual electric motors for all wheel drive, 356 kilometers of maximum range, a lovely cabin with fancy lighting options, and a zero to 100 kilometer an hour time of 6.2 seconds. This EQB is fast, pretty enough, versatile, and plenty of fun to drive. Overall, it's well thought out from stem to stern but it's 85,500 as you see it. And now you know why EV sales have plateaued at just about 9% of all new car sales in Canada. Waiting lists for EVs are getting shorter and shorter, no matter the make and model. It's also why there is a price cutting war raging in EVs right now. Car makers from Tesla to Ford are cutting back on EV investments and production. Ford of Canada Chief Bev Goodman says every single early adopter willing to aim a fire hose of cash at a new EV has one. Car companies like Ford, says Goodman, must find a way to win over mass market buyers. It won't be easy, not in a country where the average household income is almost exactly the same amount as the average price of an EV. If you want to buy an EV, well, this EQB deserves a test drive. It's terrific on the road, wonderfully built, with outstanding seats, clear screens that deliver useful information, and enough range to ease your anxiety. The window areas are huge, so visibility is outstanding. The rear seats are tight, but they are slightly elevated, theater style, which aids those in back who want to see what's coming and going. Ambient lighting color schemes are brilliant. A whole raft of technologies, from eco-assist to intelligent navigation, aid your driving and help extend range. It's a lovely car, if only more Canadians could afford it. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy Cato, and this is CatoCarGuy.com. We'll see you next time.